I was five years old when Apollo 11 landed on the moon, but it was really important to me. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I remember the astronauts coming down the lunar module and landing, and then the cameras zoomed in not too shortly after on the footprint. What an image to remember someone loping on the moon in those spacesuits and walking on another planet. So I think it really did plant the seeds of my career in aerospace engineering. This is the biosuit. It's a mock-up. So it's our fourth generation mock-up. The most important biosuit design goals are to come up with a completely new way to keep someone alive in a pressure suit. We want to provide a lot more locomotion and mobility and we want the astronauts to use a lot less energy. I can move around for you. You can see um, I have a lot of flexibility. I can move my arms and legs. When we get to the moon and Mars, we're going to be on our knees. We're going to be digging, climbing. So I need it to be really mobile and flexible. And so that's the advantage of some of our designs. If you guys do it with me, we can do calisthenics. <laughs> the black lines allow me to fully move my arms and legs, but they still keep the structure these gold lines, these are where we embed some wearable computing. They can tell me my heart rate. We currently collaborate with Buzz Aldrin, have for the, the past decade. The whole time we've been working on the biosuit, he can give us a lot of information on how it was to be on the moon. Airman from the planet Earth, first step foot up on the moon. For me to see a biosuit-inspired spacesuit on the moon or Mars would, uh, would be the ultimate. It uh, might even bring a tear to my eyes. After all of that uh, time and effort, I really would like to see astronauts uh, performing uh, spacewalks in our suit.